Hello and welcome to LearnQuickBooksFree.com That's right, this is where you get to learn QuickBooks for free. In this next video clip, uh, we're going to be doing a tutorial on QuickBooks Online 2013, one of many tutorials. In this next video, we're going to be covering the income list, uh, which is right under the customer section. Uh, and it's a little kind of a new module that uh, QuickBooks has uh, inherited. And uh, it's pretty cool because uh, it gives you a little bit more of a visual sense. It has a kind of a cool little workflow uh, to it, a nice filtering system to it. And it's going to really help you track customer estimates, invoices, sales receipts, uh, and pretty much all transactions that have to do under customers. Uh, so this v quick video, we're going to kind of explore uh, this uh, area right over here. So the first thing you will see over here are these color-coded graphics, which I love color-coded. Kind of gives you a quick, instant feeling of what something is what. So over here it gives you uh, unbuild, which is usually estimates. Uh, anything unbuild. So you, if you click on that, you'll see that it filters to anything that's an estimate or unbuild. Uh, then over here we have unpaid invoices, which is usually open invoices. If I click on that, you see it will filter to that. And then the overdue, if I click on that, it will give me everything that's overdue. Of course, everything that's overdue is what's open at this point. And this is going to show you everything that's been paid in the last 30 days. If you click on that, it kind of filters to that. So these are really cool, quick uh, kind of filter features. But of course, if you want more detailed filtering, uh, you go to this drop down menu filter has a lot of different options you can find check numbers anything you want detailed this is where you come and then you have last but not least on the left hand side over here this thing called batch actions which and right now if I clear filter and view all now I'm gonna get everything again and over here I can basically select one at a time or I could select all or unselect all and I could do things like send transactions print in, print packing slips Okay, so these are things to look for uh, when you go to income list. It'll help you navigate through things quicker. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just do some quick action steps as far as creating an estimate, invoice, receiving payments, all that good stuff. And you'll kind of see how this has a really cool workflow. So first thing I'm going to do on the right hand side over here, I'm going to hit create new. And I'm going to start off with estimate even though I have other options. I'm going to go with estimate. And what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to select the customer. Go over here and obviously this is all standard stuff where you can put a PO number. Choose a product service. Give it an amount. Let's make it 750.25, a little bit different. Whether I want it taxable or not. I haven't set my tax codes for this one yet. Unless I choose over here California. Then there you go, it's going to tax it. If I uncheck it, it doesn't tax it. Uh, and then you have your other standard options over here. Main thing is you want to hit save. Okay, unless you want to preview it, of course, but I'm going to hit save. And the second we saved it, it took us back to the income list, which is pretty cool because right over here I get to see the overall glimpse once again. Here's a transaction that we just entered, which is this one right over here. Uh, and you see over here there's two estimates. Uh, so you can click that and you'll see that as well. But I'm going to go ahead and unfilter it right now. And if you slide all the way to the right, uh, you will see a thing which says copy to new invoice. That's your next action step. Now if you don't see that over here, let me show you how to fix that. You basically go to company and you're going to go to preferences. And you're going to go under sales form entry. And you're going to scroll down over here and you're going to see where it says estimates and you want to check this off over here where it says yes I want the option of including both pending and accepted estimates on invoices so now I'm going to go back to customers back to income list and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy it to invoice so we can do the next action step under unbuild estimates I'm going to click add to invoice so I can either add that, I can add both of them if I want because now I'm ready to invoice for both or I can uncheck it if I want 
and it will bring it back to this over here. And I'm going to go down. Once again, this is pretty standard. Just look at it, see what is right, and I'm going to hit save. And we are back to the income list once again. Yes, yes. And if you look at the first line, now uh, it became an invoice from estimate. It became an invoice, invoice number 12. And over here, it's going to say status is open. And over here, I could do receive payment, which is going to be the next logical uh, step most of the time. Not always. There are other action steps that you can take such as credit, credit memo, and so what not, refunds. Uh, but the whole point is over here when you receive the payment, uh, this is also pretty standard. You're going to write the amount that you received. So if we received 525, as you can see, it automatically applied credits and everything else. But I'm going to uncheck this. And I'm going to have the 525 is going to match with this down here. And you can put the payment method. American Express, reference number 555, it doesn't really matter. All this is standard stuff. And you can select which bank you want it to go to. I'm going to hit save. And yes, we are back once again to the income list. You will now see that it is paid. And if I uh, do the drop down menu over here, you'll see that you can print it, send it, do a, a packing uh, slip for it. There's a lot of options you can do, so just play around with it. But you saw how smooth it went from one to one to one. That's what I love about this income list. Uh, this is where I'm going to be playing with a lot. So uh, definitely look out for income list and use it. You can still do normal all this stuff through you know, other options over here such as invoice charges and so whatnot. But this, it's, just, it's an all-in-one. And the last thing I am going to show you is just these uh, other quick little features. Sales receipt, pretty standard. You got paid for something right there on the spot. This is a sales receipt where invoice, uh, you're basically uh, creating a future income for a service or product rendered today, for example. Okay, so that's pretty standard. Uh, charges, customer charges is pretty cool. Uh, this is an area like where you want to accrue charges for a client, uh, where you can generate a bill to hand over for the charges they accrued. So if I'm going to do, for example, customer one, and I'm going to choose, uh, let's say it was for this thing. It really doesn't matter. And the quantity was five. The rate was $12.50 for five hours. And you have a total amount of $62.50. And over here, you can make it reoccurring as well. But I'm going to save it. Okay, and last thing I'm going to show you guys is just a couple of the rest of the features real quick. Sales receipts, you know, it's when you get paid for something on the spot, for something that you, a service or a product that you rendered. Uh, so this is pretty standard. I'm not going to fill it out. Uh, but of course, if I did, it would take me back to the income list as soon as I hit save. Uh, then you have a credit memo, which oh, you sold something, they returned it. You got to give them a credit memo, whether it's partially credit memo or a full credit memo. Uh, this is where you just give them a credit, okay? And of course, after that, you can apply a refund uh, by doing a customer credit, okay? A customer charge is also pretty cool. Uh, it's something to where uh, if you have a client that accrues, accrues charges, uh, so you can generate them a bill. So if we go to customer charge, uh, you'll see that I do, let's say, customer one. And it looks like an invoice, but it's just a little bit different of a format. Uh, and so let's say I do quantity is five, five hours, twelve dollars and fifty cents per hour. Yes, sixty-two dollars and fifty cents. I can also make make it reoccurring, and we all know what happens when I hit save. That's right, back to the income list. Okay, and uh, the last but not least is your time activity. And uh, what's pretty cool about this area, uh, first and foremost, you do not need to have payroll for this. Okay. Uh, you can enter a single activity or you can do like a weekly timesheet. And it's really cool so you can track billable time to clients. So for example, over here, um, you know, you the owner, uh, you're going to go ahead and do something for customer two for this kind of service. And you're going to bill them at $50 an hour, taxable or non-taxable. Uh, they did five hours. So there you go. The billable right now is 250 bucks. You're going to hit save. Um, really cool feature. Uh, not used all the time, but um, uh, 
it's something that you may want to implement depending for who and what. And that pretty much wraps up the income list. I hope you enjoyed this video. We got more videos to come. And that concludes this lesson. Uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos.